Hey guys, I'm G-Shark and you're watching the ESL Community Cup number 3 for Heroes of the Storm. Uh, brand new game, finally we have the Observer Mode, um, we have the custom game ability. Uh, with me by the way is Ghoul TV. Hello everybody. And our first match is going to be um, Team Comet versus La Horda. Um, so it seems to be a Ukrainian team versus a Spanish team. And uh, let me see if I can get the... Um, if I can show you the bracket, I'll post the link right away, so you know what we're talking about here. And we're currently in the picking process, so let's have a look at that. Oh, give me a sec here. Um, yeah, it's actually blind pick, so uh, there are no picks and bans. And oh, and we're already getting started. <laughs> that works, that works. All right, um, the map is going to be Blackheart's Bay. Um, do you know how the map selection works? Um, whether we have um, we start off with a simple map and then um, they have maps for each round, or um, I think you have to actually veto the map. Like uh, there are five maps, and every team vetoes one, and one is left in the end. All right, that works. Yeah. Um, so, picks and bans. Uh, we start out with draft mode. Um, okay, they decided uh, to have the blind pick beforehand. If you don't have the 14 heroes, uh, usually you need 14 heroes to do it. And then, uh, if you don't, uh, the other team can uh, agree to do a blind pick. Yeah. It's... Normally, I would prefer going for a draft, but um, since uh, the wipe was in place and uh, everybody doesn't have the amount of heroes he had before, it's better to have an option to just go blind pick and yeah. All right, um, on the left side we have Team Blue. It's Team Comet, the guys from Ukraine. We have Whitera playing as Rhaegar here in the front. Then we have Deadly Mouse playing as Arthas. Montana, who's Uther. Happy Zerg, who's playing Bala. And we have QQQ, uh, which is actually... Um, I Dimaga. Think Dimaga, yeah. yeah. Dimaga is playing Takis. Yeah, quite solid uh, pickup from them. They've got a good amount of uh, CC and yeah, a lot of stun as well with you there. Yeah, and then we have the little first engagement here on the, on the observer tower. Oh, nice, Whoa. nice little focus there on Devin Moss. Mm, getting gas low though. It was a little bit up front there. Yeah, a little bit out of position. But it's not that hard. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised to see these little engagements um, at the observer tower um, before. Um, because we didn't have this, uh, we didn't have this uh, a while ago. I mean, yeah. we started out with this, but um, eventually uh, it all went back to normal. Have the have the divided up on the lanes. Yeah, it kind of pretends on what setup you are running. If you got a setup with uh, good CC and good stun, uh, you can take the the engage easily. But um, the red team kind of uh, did a wrong call, I think, uh, in going in there because Gaslow is pretty squishy. Yeah, I think they're getting demolished here in the middle as well. Um, getting started on the chest, but then Team Blue takes it away. And um, they're kind of disorganized for now, but uh, let's see how they gather here around uh, at Long, Black uh, Long Blackbeard. Um, seems like uh, France is the first one to turn in here. Just one coin, though. And yeah. we have the first disconnect. Oh, there he is, back again. And in the bottom lane, um, White Rod tries to uh, take a stand. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's not too easy. I mean, he has two um, two players to go up against, Gaslo and uh, Turanda. And to, Gaslo uh, is that. pretty much of a beast in laning with his turrets. They do so much damage. And now uh, Reynard tries to, uh, continues to um, do some damage here in the middle, tries to um, get all the minions down. Uh, let's see what they're doing up up on top here. Uh, seems like Blue has somewhat uh, returned uh, into the middle, and they try to turn it now as well. They just try to uh, get get the uh, get the kill here on Uther, but uh, Gesler no has problem. huge problems. Uh, falls. Um, the 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 venom of uh, Arthas was pretty strong there as well, but Dimaga not enough heal, just. Uh, Going down and Zero Tool as well. Getting Zero Tool on the go. That's quite good as well. Oh, oh Tyrande as well. Now Gaslo comes in for the fight. 
a little bit late though. Yeah. Using two of his allies beforehand. Um, probably just wants to do a little bit of counter pushing instead now. But we do have Raynor coming in from the top and uh, also uh, Stitches who's trying to uh, uh, take the middle here again. Arthas might be in trouble. Yeah. But it's four of them against two. Oh, and Gazlo caught off position. But maybe he gets away. Uh, looks like look he like might that. get yeah. away now. Arthas uh, with the AoE, I think I he think might he, get away. He him. has another W. Oh, Ooh, nice. Well Finish. done, well done. And also getting to run again. Wow. Zeratul tries to get the kill there on Wipera, but now not with him. Gets away just in time. And Arthas again tries to get in there. Yeah, he's so tanky. Um, he can stay in a fight like forever. And yeah, they, they were fighting pretty good. And uh, yeah, if they get, get the turn in on the coins now, it's gonna be a tough time for the red team. Yeah, I think that's that's one thing the red team is uh, doing really, really well, uh, trying to contest the black heart, uh, black heart um, turning in area. And um, I think that's one thing they do really well. Um, other than that, um, the blue team has uh, has picked up better positions to fight so far. Yeah, definitely. But oh, oh this is. Kind of in trouble, trouble now, but taking out Gaslow oh, so no. well done. Suddenly and Stitch is body blocking him really well, and he won't get away. Nicely done. So good pickup. Yeah. Yeah, and really also good. getting five coins in the process. Really well done. And already being two levels ahead now. Yeah, that's that's really massive. And I think once these uh, once these first bombardments hit, which they will pretty soon. Yep, they should now. Um, taking out one fort. That's already a big big bonus. Yeah, especially with those two levels ahead already. They Fast. already have map control, and it's not gonna get better. Yeah, taking out the middle fort. Oh, I might actually get a round of minions there as well. No, nope, not quite. Yeah, it looks like a blue team trying to fight on two lanes now, taking out the lanes that are not being hit by the by the bombardment. So that's really clever, um, knowing that they don't really have to do anything on that part and um, just trying to get the XP in the other lanes. Yeah. They just want to get level 10 as soon as possible and then maybe Ooh, try to get into level the fight. Nine, two, three levels, yeah. uh, two levels ahead still, but I mean, get, getting that, um, yeah, getting those storm powers before the opposing team is just a massive bonus. They can't really take a fight without without those storm powers. Yes, but it's uh, the map is Black Hat Space, so you don't actually have to fight uh, to win the game. So you only have to be able to turn in all the doubloons. So there is a chance for the red team. Oh, and Turanda being out oh, of position. Turanda, so much trouble again. Getting and the kill. Arthas is just on Gazlo. top of this game. Oh, he and dies. Gazlo, he will get Gazlo, won't he? Oh, oh no. Jeez, he that's so oh. close. Oh my gosh. So close just before the mana well. It's so unfortunate. And they got the camp as well. As well as the, all of the coins. Oh. Uh, looks like Rhaegar will take out these towers. Uh, Stitches comes from the back. Can he get the hook? Nope, not gonna happen. Too many minions in front. Really well done by White Rock, getting getting behind those minions. And he will get the tower in the end, so well done, well played. Um, looking at the heroic abilities of the blue team, um, it's pretty much standard. Um, Ballad took Reign of Vengeance and Drago took Bloodlust, so they've got one at the one point a lot of stun potential and a lot of damage as well. Yeah. Especially with the Odin, you can do a lot of damage. I like Divine Storm as well. Uh, yeah, really nice CC there. They can get off good combos. Yeah, let's see how those combos play out. We have two two players in the bottom right now taking up the knights. Um, they will get those knights only Gazmo to contest it, and that's not going to be enough. On the top, we have the red team kind of pressuring uh, White Rod here as Rhaegar. Yeah, uh, it would be good for them to have a hard so camp, far. Yeah. So it's working out pretty decently. They should really get the hard cam and try to push with it, I think. And oh, that I got a nice it. laser going. Oh, sweet, getting three heroes, but that's gonna be oh. it. Ooh, yeah, such I guess a nice hit, it. and then just waiting too long. It was a little bit too aggressive, because... Ah, oh, that's so, uh, so much CC with Arthas, you can't escape. Yeah, and Zeratul is living kind of dangerously <laughs> down there as well. Indeed. And Looks like the red team might... Uh, might get a kill here on Wipra, who's uh, moving up really uh, in a tight position. Uh, looks like he will get away though. Yeah, maybe if Tyrande gets a stun off, uh, 
on positioning. And now the slow. Oh, Stitches oh, might actually Stitches. get him. Stitches yeah. might actually they get him. They are level 10. He could be able. Oh, come on. Do the just hook. Oh, oh. Not quite. Not quite. Wide run is too sneaky. And meanwhile, in the bottom lane, we have the blue team just putting on the pressure. Uh, two forts already down. Or oh, three forts already down with, uh, with the blue as well. And taking down the towers. Such, such a critical measure here. Yeah, they still got the easy camp to help them. Yeah, meanwhile, bombardment on on the red team side as well, taking out the um, the middle lane for team blue. Um, Ford is about to fall, and it looks like we get another kill on stitches here by team blue, uh, getting near pretty lonely, and also grabbing a couple coins in the process. I think they should just group up a little bit more, but on the other hand, it's difficult because that would force team fights, and if they are three levels down, it's not that good to take team fights. Four levels down right oh. now. That's that's pretty massive. Um, I don't know. What what do you think they should do right now? There are no camps left. Like only the boss is left, and it's uh, not that's too dangerous right yeah. now. Like, taking the boss. Oh, they might actually get Arthur's here. Really well, really well focused, but um, yeah, on really the team comes in. And there comes, comes the... Ooh, both of the ultimates are being launched here. Yeah, and no Tirana way. goes down, Reyna goes down, and Zero 2 might actually go down as well. Yeah. No, it's that's just close engagement there. It's 3v5 now. But a good ult! Wow! Yeah, amazing Really ult good there. ult. Really good stun. Maybe they... Uh, Radar yeah. goes in the web again, oh, and God, uh, that didn't work out all too well. That Vala escape, so clutch. Chests have spawned, so uh, Gessler has something to do. It's not that bad if they uh, can't contest the boss now. Just uh, get the chests and pay in fast. They could get in another bombardment. Yeah, that helps as well. I mean, uh, of course they're three forts down, but um, like evening that out helps a lot. Yeah. Um, then they do have the time to react to the boss. Uh, let's see, um, they might get the top chest, no, Val is already on it. Oh, oh that could be a good points. Two <laughs> coins, but actually might pay, oh jeez, that was an amazing body block there, getting Raynor. Yeah, Stitches tries to escape, but they won't go after him, just want to pay in and get another thought, I guess. Uh, let's see, uh, Gazlo can, Gazlo, that as well. can Gazlo return here, it doesn't look like it, and body block again, Uther on process, really well. Really well done. But the easy camp now up for the red team, so they have to uh, defend it somehow. And yeah, they gotta stop the boss in the, in the top lane first. Uh, it looks like everyone's on it. It just goes in there. Uh, uh, we'll get the stun off, and Zero Tool should get the kill here. Yeah, they'll just get all of the camps and maybe try to pay in again and push with the camps afterwards. Yeah. Team Blue taking the hard camp as well, and getting another cannonball shot off uh, in the main camp now, taking the middle lane down, and uh, getting that gate is actually kind of nice because that uh, helps a lot uh, getting out those team fights in the middle. Yeah, it's like uh, no possible, no 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 escape possible. Yeah, yeah. It's like it looks like everyone wants to go in, in the bottom lane now. Probably waiting for the respawn yeah. here on the hard camp. Yep, and attacking with two camps in opposing lanes. I mean, taking the top, taking the bottom. That's that's just huge, and you know that the knights are gonna do damage in the top lane. Yeah, they have so much map control, and even even finishing the hard camp so fast that they won't get in, in a creep check. Yeah, I mean, check this out. That positioning is just phenomenal. Yeah. Um, they just use the knights to kind of yeah keep them down there, uh, turn them some yeah turn them some coins, get the next bombardment off, and look at that Arthas with 11 coins. They will get the next bombardment off right away as soon as uh, we'll get two more coins and come on. Yeah. Oh, that's it, and that's it, and they'll just take the hard camp and push uh, with it. Yeah. on the enemy side. And I think this might actually be the finishing blow here. Yeah, then they have two hard camps and uh, bloodlust and everything, three levels ahead. Red team is gonna have a pretty tough time defending this. Uh, looks like red team comes in from the bottom here. Uh, Arthas Maybe goes into the fight. Nice stun there, amazing stun, and the ultimate is being launched as well. Uh, oh, some amazing kills, but those yeah, the level difference really is just good stun. too immense. Oh, but they don't have enough follow up. 
It was a really good stun by Gazlo, but they have to get in more damage afterwards. Yeah, Stitches will go down, and so will Rainer here. And that's the team kill, and I think that's enough for the blue team to take this fight. Yeah, and um, I think they should take the game now. I mean, they have, yeah, they have so many, uh, so many lanes, just overwhelming everything. Uh, just one fort remaining here for the red team, and I think they're just gonna skip that, go straight for the Nexus, and this should be it. This should be GG here for Team Blue. And uh, yeah, what an amazing play here um, for Team Comet. Yeah, uh, just really don't. all around solid play. Um, no real big mistakes as far as I could tell. Yeah, I don't either. Really well played, really well played. Yeah, and there's the GG. Blue team wins, and um, I think we're still best of one for the first round. Yes, as as exactly. All right. So um, they'll have to play versus Team Mouse Sports now. And um, we'll also be following that game. Um, so um, what do you have to say for, um, for this match? Yeah, I think uh, the Magas team is really good. Uh, they they just showed they can be so dominant. The mouse boards won't have an easy time, but I think uh, they have a good chance. So, what what do you think the weaknesses are that um, they can exploit in or well, team common? I think um, <laughs> it's 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 not that of an easy question because they played so good. I think uh, you you can hit them with a good combo, um, like we saw just on Gazlo. If you mm -hmm. get on get off good combos against them, uh, they can be kind of weak because they should have split up a little bit more, and maybe mouse bots can use this um, to try to set up a good team. Yeah, I feel like the team fights were. Um, I mean, they kind of played off their level advantage. They didn't really. Like I, I feel like if they were on an even level with the other team, they would have had to take um, way better team fights. Yeah. Because it, it seemed like they always had these okay three versus two situations, and then the remainder of the team came back in. But um, if you have um, if you have this uh, same level, then that doesn't really work out that way. Yeah. Exactly.